Hey guys, Clickwood here back again, bringing you another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Guys, we're coming off of a big win, 24 to nothing in the last game. We're currently 3-1 on the season. Again, should be 4-0 if the game wasn't such a piece of trash and I didn't glitch out and give me a loss when I actually won a game. But hey, it happens. Let's continue on with the season, though. Let's see what we can do here in this game. Uh, just to let you guys know in advance, this game is actually against a person who is using a pretty low overall team. And I've seen some people actually try to do this because, uh, for whatever reason, they like to take advantage of the equalizing factor, which some people say is in the game, other people say isn't. But in this game, you're definitely going to see examples of it being in the game and not being in the game. So I don't know. You'd have to, you'd really have to see the individual plays to really get an idea of whether it's true or not. Now let's hop into the actual gameplay here and check out this broken tackle by Brady. He is going to scramble out, fire it down the field, finds Calvin Johnson who makes a defender miss and is finally taken down at about the five yard line. Very next play, we go to Alshon Jeffrey on that smash wide fade for the first touchdown of this football game. So first drive definitely looking like the higher overall team is definitely going to dominate this one. But let's see what we can do for the rest of this drive as we get a sack there on defense. Big play there by my defensive line. Mean Joe Green gets through. Third and 20 here. We're going to send the heat, force him to throw it short, and he is eventually going to punt. So we're back here on offense, going to try and run the PA fork again. It worked well for us on the first drive. That time, Ryan Kerrigan actually gets through and makes the sack. So uh, good play by his defensive end there. He's gotten through pretty quickly twice. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. He's going up against the ultimate legend, Dan Deerdorf, there on the, on the right tackle position. But you know how Madden is. It really doesn't even matter, apparently, what their overall ratings are, their pass rating, their block shed. Sometimes it just doesn't matter. Sometimes they just get through untouched. So let's get back here on offense here and look at this protection that we've got all day in the pocket. Throw this one up into triple coverage in the end zone. Mike Ditka comes up with it. That's pretty dirty. I can't even lie. I, I like. I really can't even lie. That's just completely dirty. I, I have no. I have no excuse for myself. I have no excuse for myself. But we do get the touchdown to go up 14 to nothing. Going to try and make another play on defense. Oh, Pat Pete, that was yours. You should have been able to intercept that. But we do get the ball back. Short little pass here to Kevin White, and he picks up a first down. Second and 10 here, and we're going to go short again over the middle. Calvin Johnson on the slant pattern picks up a nice gain there. We're doing pretty well moving the football on offense, I can't lie. And then Adrian Peterson here, oh, just going to juke that guy's shoes right off of his feet and get into the end zone. Yes, that is ultimate legend Adrian Peterson. And guys, if you don't know, we're actually going to be using him for pink slips this weekend. So if you're interested in playing me to potentially win Adrian Peterson, make sure you stop on by my stream. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash click with TV or at click with TV, whatever you want to use to get in contact with me. Follow me on there and you'll know when we go live. So my opponent there, I'm going to bomb it up into coverage and he comes up with it. Eh, you know, it's madness here. I can't really complain when Mike Dick could basically did the exact same thing. And my opponent's going to continue to move the ball here, running it up the middle there. And a couple plays later, he is finally going to get into the end zone on this play. Check this out. Oh, we missed the tackle. And it is Terrell Pryor that actually got into the end zone. He had been using Johnny Manziel, which is kind of interesting. And we're kind of pissed off on offense with 30 seconds left, just trying to get into range and unfortunately throw a pick. So yeah, 21 to 7, but my opponent's got a chance here to potentially score here before the end of the half. Sick throw there on the run, and he is going to get into range here. Uh, all he has to do basically is pick up about eh, 8 to 10 yards or so, and he is able to pick up 5 there. Sets up a third and 4 now, and let's see what we can do here. Trying to stop him. Oh, we nearly got the sack. He throws it away, and then this is going to be a long, long field goal. 59 yards, banks off of the crossbar, and goes in before the end of the half. So my opponent's down 11 heading into the second half here, and he has the ball to start the second half as well. So this game is definitely not over. It was a 21 to nothing lead at one point, uh, but let's... Oh, Pat Pete. You're going to drop another pick, though? That's his second drop pick of this game already, and let's see if he can make a play here. No! Pat Pete is just getting exploited at this point. 
unbelievable, man. It's just, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on with that. As my opponent fires in a nice pass there to his tight end. We're struggling, man. We're struggling on defense. Tried to get him to throw that exact route, but I just couldn't make the play on the ball. I was trying to bait him in to actually throw that thing. And then on second and three, he's going to take a huge hit here from Luke Keekley. So Terrell Pryor is out of the game. Johnny Manziel back in the game, and he is able to score there with, uh, with the fullback dive. Going for two here to try and make it a three-point play, and his player drops the ball. So it is now a 21-16 to 16 lead for me. And look at Dan Deerdorf again, just missing a block for no apparent reason. I definitely thought he was going to pick up that one. And I don't know what the deal is. He's just missing that block from the middle linebacker. He should definitely be going after that guy, but, you know, it is what it is. We're still able to pick up good yardage here. Adrian Peterson doing work on the ground on this drive. Second and five now, and we're going to go over the middle here to Mike Ditka, who has been reliable for us, uh, and he makes a nice catch there in traffic. Adrian Peterson now off the right side, taken down in the backfield, unfortunately. Sets up a second and 11, and we're going to go back to that counter play nearly broke that thing. If I wouldn't have spun, I probably would have broken that for a touchdown. I didn't know, obviously, that he was going to dive at it. But we do pick up the first down on the next play. Short little slant pattern there to Calvin Johnson. Got a little bit of a weird animation if you go back and look at that, but still came up with the catch. Third and three now. We're going to go back to that counter. We're just going to keep going back to it because, I mean, this guy obviously is committing on the other side of the ball or else he's committing on the pass because it is just not stopping the run. And we are going to get in there with Calvin Johnson putting us up 12. So that is now an another two score lead for us. So that's really what we've been looking for. And we're in good shape here. Another dropped pick there by my defense. I don't know what they're doing. They're just not intercepting the ball, but at least we're getting some pressure here. Third and 22, and he is finally going to throw a pick here. Joe Hayden does come up with it, and we are back in range here to potentially put more points on the board here with less than two minutes left in the game. My opponent continued to call timeouts here. I was really just interested in running out the clock as we get a first down here. That should have been the end of the game, but my opponent, again, does decide that he wants to call a timeout. So you know what? We're going to run it in with Adrian Peterson, score another touchdown, ensuing kickoff. Give a fuck about your feelings. Fumble forced and recovered by my team. And we are going to throw this one up to Calvin Johnson. Nice little face catch. Goes up now. 42 to 16 on the game. My opponent's going to have one more chance here before the end of the game. He's going to throw this one up. And we just make a terrible play on the ball with Pat Pete. I don't know what the deal is. I just could not cover his receiver over there. I don't know what's going on as he throws this one up into double coverage. Vontae Davis and Ronnie Lott can't stop the streak, of course. A couple plays later, he is going to get into the end zone there before the end of the game. So he was able to save himself a little bit of face there. Final score, 22 to 42. He did try to go for two there at the end. So uh, yeah, we do win this one. We're up now 4-1 and one on the season, so it's been a very good start for us. It really should be a 5-0 and oh start to the season. This is definitely the best that I've played going into the all Madden divisions. Um, you know, I've struggled for the most part, but I feel like I'm playing better, and hopefully that's showing on the videos as well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these gameplays. If you are, of course, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and again, be sure to head on over to twitch.tv forward slash TV this weekend so that you can try and win that Adrian Peterson. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you again soon.